Okay, so welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Tribit Max Sound Plus. Um, this is by no means a new speaker, kind of similar to the Stormbox I've just reviewed as well. Um, but while I was grabbing the new Tribit ones, I thought I'd grab the old ones as well as a, as a nice comparison, you know. Um, see what you're see what you're upgrading to if you've got one of the previous gen models. Um, so far, it's not looking like it's worth the upgrade, but we'll see what we got with the Max Sound Plus here. Um, so this retails for £60, um, which is £10 more than the Tribit Stormbox, uh, which I was really happy with. You can go watch my separate review on that if you like. But yeah, we've got £10 more over here. Uh, 24 watt, which is interesting because it's the exact same output as the Stormbox. So yeah, uh, bear in mind this is £10 more, so we'll see. Um, this has Bluetooth 4.2, which is the same Bluetooth version as the Tribit Stormbox as well. Um, yeah, which gives you about 100 foot of range, which is obviously slightly down on the around 120 feet of range from the newer Bluetooth 5.3 versions. But yeah, this is an older speaker, so that's kind of what you're getting. Uh, IPX7, uh, which means it can literally play underwater if you wanted it to. Uh, that is the same as the Stormbox. Um, we've got two 12 watt drivers here, um, with two, uh, two passive radiators as well. Uh, 20 watt battery life with four hours charge. So... I mean, yeah, it's it's a tricky one, really, because literally just reading the spec sheet, the Tribit Stormbox is exactly the same, but it's £10 cheaper and it has 360 degree sound, whereas this doesn't. So I'm kind of wondering already uh, what, what, what kind of market this is built for. Um, also, the build quality isn't as nice. This is kind of like weird, like, uh, you know, kind of like makes you cringe when you touch it kind of kind of um, kind of material. Uh, it's got like a weird kind of grill on the back, Max Sound Plus. It does have an aux cable, which is nice. It also, uh, an aux port, it also actually includes an aux cable with it, uh, which is uh, which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's a pretty standard kind of like, kind of similar to like the old Beats pill kind of design uh, that we used to see. Um, don't see too much of anymore, but yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. It feels pretty cheap and the materials are not as nice as the Stormbox. Um, so yeah, we'll do a sound test and we'll see where we're at. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Okay, so sound test done. Uh, I might actually just cut this one real short and say, don't buy this. Buy the Stormbox instead. Um, it's £10 cheaper, 360 degree sound, looks better, nicer materials, uh, and sounds ever so slightly better even maybe, but realistically, same wattage, same everything. Uh, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why this exists. Um, Buy the Stormbox instead.